Legend of Total War here with part 13 of my Crusader Kings 2 Let's Play campaign as the Carling Dynasty Empire of Francia. Alright, so previously, um, we did have a crash halfway through the episode, sort of, and um, it was a little bit of a shorter one. So, we'll try and make this one a little bit longer, but, you know, if it crashes, it crashes, what can you do? Anyway, we're in the middle of a war with the Abbasids again, but I don't anticipate this is going to be particularly long. Let's just finish this off. I mean, the, the Abbasids are... We've got them by the balls now. We've got a method here that's that's working like a charm. Look at these. This is all of this conquered over the past fifteen years. And using this technique, we can completely do away with them. We don't even need a crusade to, to assist us. We we'll use the crusade for someone else, which we'll have access to in ten years. I'm leaning towards Sweden just because I'm sick of Norse raiders. Until we get rid of every last one of those pagans, they'll keep coming. My wife died. Oh well. It's actually a Basra, that's fine, as long as they're not creating kingdom titles. Fear is the mind killer. Good. I mean, yeah, whatever. Okay, so I should probably get married again. I like to find old wives. Yeah, when you go like this, they won't show you anything from anyone over 40. So, we need to look abroad for a wife. Now, unfortunately, we're at war with a lot of these fuckers. So, we'll have to, um... We'll have to finish this off first, and then... Yeah, okay, there we go. Alright, now we can create the Kingdom of Jerusalem. Let me just sort this out. That's, that's of course, a kingdom that I don't intend to give away. It's just what we need to hold on to it until it's been incorporated wholly into Syria. So... Create that, this will give us enough prestige to, to hit them again. Ah, this one as well, okay. We hold on to the kingdom title, but we give all the counties over to, to them, to Syria. Which, of course, will make him even more powerful. Which is absolutely fine, because he's a loyal vassal for the time being, I mean... The problem with him is that he's Ares' brother, and then he's old as well. I'm hoping that this, this guy here ends up becoming king, so I want you to end your plot. And let's... Let's get him married. Oh, I need to take this first. If you're going to pass on the kingdom of Syria, I need you to get married. Okay, so this looks alright. She seems... Let me just check her again. Oh, fuck me. I'm sure she'll be fine. She's nice and young, though, so she's got a good long time to bear lots of children. Now, since we've got... The fuck? How did we get so much prestige? How the fuck did I get that much? What, just from creating the... the from the, Oh, maybe from marrying off that... I don't know, this is weird. I didn't have that much before. Well, shit, don't, don't look a gift horse in the mouth, huh? Alright, so... Well, we're going to lose most of it just from... From attacking them again. There's no need to relent on them. Okay, so, don't want to take any more from Jerusalem, because this is sort of like the bare minimum we need to keep hitting. Now, we can... I want to keep conquering Egypt. That's why he needs the kingdom title, Kingdom of Egypt. How are we going to... I think I've made a blunder here. Because, we'll need to conquer all of this in order to usurp it. 
But if we do that, we might not be able to wage war properly. Well, why don't we just deal with this last? Why don't, why don't we actually create... Let me see over here. So we've pretty much created the kingdom of Syria. As, as far as what I want to do. There's still a little bit more to do. Why don't we now look, look a little bit east and establish the kingdom of Persia. So we've got Persia... Bulkistan, Afghanistan, Kiva. Alright, that seems alright. So we'll need another Carling Dynasty person, but I'm sure there's one out there. Alright, now. Also with that, very rich territory, so... Who are we going for? I don't know, not Dijur claim. Going for for this so Fars. I guess it doesn't really matter which one we conquer. Let's just not going to make any difference. Let's just do it. Okay, now recruiting your levies. You've got a thousand troops. Good. You can help me out here. Oh, that's a bit damaged. So what's your fucking problem? Demand's too big. Right. Oh, right, I was supposed to go get married again. Oh, well, fuck. I have to wait until after this next war. Alright, well, let's get to it. So yeah, I'm fully committed to completely annexing the Abyssins. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it before 900 AD. There's just too many territories, there's too much to do. But we can still take a good solid chunk out of them. We've got an absolute mountain of piety now. Those two gave us 30%, so let's just see how much war score we can get by by taking these first. So I'm just curious. This is a full strength. I'm not sure if 14,000 men is going to do particularly well against this, to be honest. we got time. So just let this build up. I'll tell you what, that really fucks it up. Fucks up my army. Just seeing if we could basically just hit this and if that's enough each time to make them surrender. So that's the 60%. That one province there is worth as much as these two. And I'm assuming this is going to be worth just as much as well. We'll, we'll try this out next time, because this army is too, too diminished. Actually, we're creating Persia right now. Let's not worry about it too much. Just keep going. These guys here need a bit of a break. And these settlements here are built up, so... Why don't you just go over there and disband? War's nearly over. Then disband that, and then... No, wait, because yeah, the, the sooner you disband them, the sooner they can start recovering. Militarily, maybe we should wait a little while before attacking them again, but at the same time, we did damage Ascalon, so it's going to take a long time for them to recuperate from that. Take this. 
Alright, so let's get this started. With this, we're pretty much destroying the entirety of Islam. Islam's just taken. It was like a huge nuke right in the middle of them. Right there, all gone. And from it, we get so much power through military, through Syria. Okay, now, we need to find a, a new, um, someone who's going to manage this. So your brother, he's the Prince of Andalusia, so that's not going to work. Yeah, they're, they're also going to likely get to Andalusia, so we need to look further up the chain. So, hang on. Start with, start with myself. I can't use him because he's going to inherit Syria because his brother didn't have any legitimate children. Hang on a second. He's only 58 years old and his wife died. Why don't we get him to remarry? If he has a son... Let's do this. Well, that doesn't solve the problem for right now. There's no guarantee he's going to have children. Um, so we need to look... Uh, we're going to have to look um, based on this, because uh, it's going to be difficult to find it. Alright, so let's have a look. Just open up the family tree and see where... Who's this here? He's the Prince of Italy. His father's the King of Italy, apparently. Wait. Oh, I don't know. Did he marry his own daughter? She's just princess. Alright. I don't think that's what happened. No, they're of a different dynasty, different dynasty, and they're pagan as well. Filth. Dead. Prince of Andalusia, we've already looked at him. And here we've found someone. Oh, this is, this is this guy, right? I remember this. He's fucking ugly and weak. No, he's just, he's weak. So that's not good. How old is he? Well, he's got other brothers, so we made this guy here the king of Andalusia. And he... We put him in... Oh, he's, he's going to be the king of Egypt, right. That means you... are going to be... Who's this? Okay, that means this one here is a legitimate candidate for Kingdom of Persia. Now, you have to take care of all this. So you're married. You need to be, <coughs> excuse me, you need to be having children. Now you will assign myself your guardianship. Now, while we're at peace, I need to go find myself another wife. So, Avaria is now a Catholic nation. I don't intend to attack them anytime soon. Maybe, actually, with all of this piety, we could just, like, annex the whole thing in one go. The, there's a lot of this shit that's not worth a whole lot. How old are we? 41. We, we could do it within our lifetime. If they've got 36 regions, I don't think they've got that many. Alright, let's look into Serbia here. And we're looking for... Women that are old. So she's bohemian, her husband's dead. But she looks like she'll make a good administrator.
She's a genius. Well, that's great. She's got excellent stats. Probably better than me. Administrate my realm for me. Okay. The funny thing is, she's got claim on the kingdom of Bohemia. We could put her in power there, but it's not, not worth it. Okay, so... If we had a child, that child would have claim over Bohemia, I think. But she can't bear children now. Alright, so we're going to keep keep on smashing um, the Abbasids. Now, can we get a... Um, we get some... Some duchies. And what about over here? No, hang on. Because I, I want to get these ones. But yeah, we can't usurp it from him. Why is that? Because he's at war. Who's at war with? So he... Alright, oh he's got some sort of rebellion going on. Alright, let's not worry about that too much. Well, let's, let's keep going for more of Persia. Has the Kingdom of Persia been created? Let's see. Nobody owns it. We're 9% of the way there, so it's going to take like 6 wars. Oh, this needs to be disbanded. If I keep recruiting troops here, we're going to completely wear ourselves out. We've still got 9,000 men there. Hmm. I think we'll keep going. Let me just see though. How can I improve my relation with him? Maybe just send him a gift? I'll award him an honorary title. I think he recently rose to power there. Okay, he's no longer the king of... of Bavaria. Hang on, look at this. So Bavaria here. Huh. Oh wait, this is you. Well, everything sort of worked out. Like, it didn't hand over to the person that... Because we were going to revoke this. But because he had two sons, this is why you don't create multiple kingdom titles. It split perfectly. So it doesn't need my involvement now. So you're 13. No, 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 that's, that's terrible. You can't, you can't have him. If he becomes Basque, that would be very bad. Regular marriage to... Okay, so I'll assign myself your guardian. Oh, I think I've already got two. Well, we'll, we'll assign someone else. How about the Duke of Kent? Alright, good stuff. Alright, so when it comes to this, we're just waiting for this to turn Catholic. It shouldn't take too long. Catholicism spreading like wildfire out here. Alright, let's go hit the Abbasids up some more. Of course, we're going for Persia. Yep, that looks good. Oh, I did, did I say we we're going to wait? No, there's no need to wait. Alright, let's just, let's just get in on this. Lots of killing to be had. Let's do it. We wage war so that we may live in peace. I do understand that saying. It makes a lot of sense to me. I suppose at this point it's fine if he becomes content. So with Bavaria, you know, perfectly set out there, we'll need to expand Bavaria as well. So does this guy here have a claim on it? He has a strong claim on it. He's not going to be able to usurp it, because last time he was able to usurp it because it was held by a woman. That was that was my mistake there. I shouldn't have done that. But everything turned out alright in the end, which is which is usually pretty weird because usually things just if I don't have a my finger in the pie fixing things. Things don't usually just magically fix themselves. 
So we're very fortunate in that regard. Now, you, you're still a filth bag. I want to revoke your title. Mm. Somebody else is trying to get that title out of him. Still the primary seat of Aquitaine. Of course, we need Aquitaine to love us as much as possible, because the more they love us, the more troops we get out of it. And right now, we need Aquitaine's troops more than ever. Well, we're good, we're good. It's not so difficult. Who's this? I don't know why it's notifying me, but I guess that's good. Oh good, something happened here. They finally converted to Catholicism. I was holding on to this for a long time. So let's upgrade to castle, thank you very much. And finally, at long last, we can hand this over to you. Why haven't you got an heir yet? Well, you're only 20 and your wife is 25. You are trying for a son. You're not infertile, are you? So far, so good. Alright, here you go. I want... It was... This one here. Keep researching for me. Got a plot against us, you know, to try and kill me, but that's been sitting there for a long time and I haven't seen any assassination attempts. I think it's because I've got a lot of good friends. They're not fucking with me. Hard there. Good. Alright, keep moving. Actually, no, no, just. You can be this bandit, you've done enough now. Oh, she didn't last very long. Still, I think we gained a lot of prestige by, by marrying her, which was weird. So, uh, hold on one second, There's, I gotta pause the recording for one moment, there's some noise outside. Alright, all good. So, we need to get remarried. Oh, and, and we need to deal with um, this as well. Let's deal with this first. So I'm curious if, if I was to marry another relative of a king, would I gain like 5,000 prestige? Keep marrying old women. It's not. It's not for you know sexual pleasure. That's not what it's for. Obviously, we're really just hiring like a secondary steward. If anything, it's like bloody like slave. I, I, whatever. Having another son at this point would be a disaster for us because half of the bloody kingdoms would hand it, be handed over to him. It, it'd just be a disaster. Okay, so that's good. How close are we? I don't know why I keep checking this, but let's have a look. So, 21%. Yeah, we've still got, still got a few wolves to do. Alright, now. So how many wives have you had now? Just... Yeah, oh, that's right, because I divorced the other one. Okay, so going back to Serbia. Let's have a look. So she ended up dying. How old are these? 30. Too young. Alright, you got any old women for me to marry? Nope. What about Byzantines? You're a pretty fucking old woman. How about... How about we get married? <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna marry a Byzantine Empress. 58 years old. Match 
extralinearly. No, it doesn't matter, we're not gonna have any children. But, you know, this is gonna be weird. That's for sure. Joining the. It's not going to merge the two kingdoms. She's not gonna be my vassal. It is, however, weird. Very weird. The thing is, we can call upon her as an ally now. I mean, this is this alliance is really not going to last particularly long. Oh, 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 oh! Can we possibly tell her convert to Catholicism? Everyone's got his finger to St. John. Doesn't seem like I can do anything about it. I can't make her convert to Catholicism, because that would be awesome if we could do that. Because if she converts to Catholicism, I can start making a lot of claims. Anyway. What are we doing now? Well, we're still working on this, so I gained a bit of prestige from it. That's a major. This didn't really increase at all. I didn't didn't really check to see how good she is. She's not very good at all. She's she's a total shithead, to be honest. She's excommunicated. Okay. Well, let's not worry about that. It was really just to see what would happen. We're still going to keep uh, smashing up Persia. So in Hamandan here, there's four regions. Sound good? Let's do this. Not you. Hold on. Maybe, maybe you should wait. Six thousand men there. Let these guys get started on this first. Actually, why don't we send everyone up this way and see if we can get enough... Yeah, sure. Uh, I don't really care. I'm not going to... I'm not going to help her. You just stay there. So basically, I want to see that if, if I can win the war just by capturing these four regions. Here. So we've got 25,000 men. Oh man, that's too much.